What's going on, YouTube? I'm back, man. I know y'all probably tired of seeing my face, but keep getting tired. Hey, we outside. You see it's raining, man. I got the, the little rain jacket on. But, hey, can't you stop the hustle, man. I done went and found me a tent so I could put it over the Monte Carlo. We still got to keep progress, man. Told y'all, y'all thought I was capping. Rain, sleet, hell, or snow, man. We got to get to it. This right here, man, I wish I had my garage, bro. But, you know, you got to work with what you got for right now. Uh, about to put this tent up and take this tarp off. And I'll let y'all know what I got to do today. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, we got the, the money under the tarp. I wish I had, I, I'm actually thinking about going to get another tent. Um, I just found this one in the crib. But my sister has another tent, so I could probably put another one over top of it. And then I'll be completely out of the rain, man, and we can keep doing progress. I was trying to make shift, like, pull that tarp, like, over it or something. Because, I mean, the T-tops are still on, but I don't want no water, you know, me at all. But, uh. I'm good. This is what I'm working with right now. I'm just keeping me out of the rain. I'm good with it. All right, YouTube. I done did some scavenging. Managed to pull two tents off somebody. But nah, shout out to the family, man. They know how adamant I am about working on this car and it's raining, so I still got to get to it, man. Time is not on my side right now. Well, I had the T-tops off because I was trying to pinpoint a leak. It looked like it was like coming from right up in here. I definitely I need to do the T-top replacement and just get all this mess redone. But all the putty, it is. I just touched it. It's, it is getting a little bit dry. I wanted to go ahead. Like I wanted to be like completely cured before I even try to do anything on it. But um, yeah, today's video picked up where we left off from yesterday. We mounted the cooling fans um, and the radiator. We did the zip tie way. You know what I'm saying? Just something quick. I just want to see if they even work. Um, so I'm about to try to wire them up. And um, yeah. Kit. This little cooling fan kit. Electric fan kit. It came with... Um, what is it? It came with a different uh, thermostat. Because this one right here is just like... You know, you just put the wire inside of it or whatever. But the thermostat that came with the kit... It has like a little prong on it. So I'll be able to uh, use that wire... And I'll be able to read my gauges, uh, the temperature on my gauges, and the thermostat will be able to send to the relay to tell the fans to kick on. I know as I probably just said a lot, but y'all just roll with me right quick, and we're going to figure it out together. Let's get it. I try to crank it up every day. Now 
now to get to the actual video. Let's see. So basically, it looks like this is somebody already figured out this is a hot right here. I'm not a good ground. would be a good ground. I think of this joint right here. Hold on, I gotta get a sleeve. This joint. Maybe this. Not this. Maybe that. So it's kind of hard to do it one hand, but basically you just touch a, a fuse or whatever, and then you turn your key. It looks like somebody might tap into this. What is what is this? It could be the ignition. I don't know. But basically, you just hold this. This little. That, that little thing right here is gonna light up if you got hot with it when you turn the key. So that's basically how I'm gonna find out my um, my 12 volt power to go to my fans. Hopefully y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see the little. All this stuff. Let's go, bro. I'm on it, guys. Y'all just keep in tune. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. Where is the hot? That's not it. That's not it. could be a bat okay there we go i don't know if you ever see that light boom so whatever fuse that is that is a hot Let's see if i can find another one okay i found at least i found one hold on we got another one okay so this right here This joint right here is hot. Okay, boom. So this is what I need to use right here. Oh, you see, oh, there's another, there's another hot. But I gotta make sure it's hot with the key on. Okay, that joint is hot regardless. So I don't need to use that one. Let's see about this one. Let's see, is this hot when the key is on? Nah, wait. I think I'm in the wrong spot. It's right here. All right, there we go. See, I'm turning the key, and it's only coming on when I turn the key on. That's the one I need. We're gonna go with that one for the uh, for the uh, the cooling fans. All right, so I got this wire. I'm gonna try to use red wire, you know, for hot or whatever, and then any brown wire I'll use for uh, the, the black wire. Uh, I'm trying to match up the gauge. So this is the relay that came with the kit. Uh, there it is, 85, 86, 87, and 30. I can't remember off the top of my head which one goes to what, but I think like 87 is definitely the blue one that goes to the fans. Uh, I think 86 is probably like the ignition or something, and then 30 goes to the battery or something. But I'm going to drop a picture in the video. Um, they even told me when I purchased it, like in the, the item description off eBay, they tell you what like goes to what. So just look at the screen right now. This is basically what I'm going off of. I looked at the other couple of diagrams on YouTube, like this one right here. Um, that one's a good one. But yeah, that's basically what I'll be using to wire up the fans. But for right now, I'm about to run that hot wire through that hole right there that is supplying basically all my other stuff. And I'm gonna run it, uh, I think I'm gonna run it this way or either run it across like the fuel pump and stuff. But y'all stay tuned. All right, so right now, I think that's a suitable spot for a fan relay. Uh, that spot beside it is rusty. I'm about to hit it with the wire wheel and make it a ground. And hopefully I can screw that uh, relay into the side of this fender or whatever. So I can sit up just like that box beside it.
that's pretty good. Uh, I need to see them. this screw to go through here. Uh, I care about the ground more than I care about the relay uh, sitting up. So, get the socket attachment thingy. All right, guys, so I just fed that wire through uh i'm trying to find out i'm pretty sure this is it right here yeah let me see make sure it's coming back to that firewall yep all right so this is the wire i just fed through i'm gonna snake it behind this steering column or under it or something out the way uh, see. i hate that all these wires is in here dog uh, it's, it's not good i gotta get that thing together so i'm just trying to snake it with one hand through to this side all right boom i got it i want to make sure my ignition is off yeah all right so that same fuse that i found the hot joint sorry anyway that same fuse which is that 25 right there i'm pointing at it with the wire right there that 25 that's the hot wire when i turn my key on so i'm gonna just stick this in there and try to make it look as clean as i possibly can and then um yeah i'm gonna test the other like test the other end of the wire to make sure it's still hot um yeah and then we're gonna go with that all right guys so i did end up getting that fuse in place i'm about to test this the wire is all the way it's coming all the way from the engine i just got it going through the driver door right now but <clears throat> i'm about to test it i got my my test light grounded Let's see. Hopefully, it lights up. I think. Uh oh, let's get it. Got our power coming from our ignition, which is a plus. Now we just got to move on to the next step. All right, y'all. Just want to give you a quick update of what I got going on. So, as you can see, this is the thermostat, the new thermostat. That's the the one that's currently in my car. This is a new thermostat, has a prong up there for a female, uh, what is it, spade connector or whatever. So I got it out right now because I'm gonna test it with the outside of the, the block before I just go ahead and do everything and then it don't even work. So I got this, this goes to the ground, which goes to the relay. The light is the ignition. Uh, I got it tied in from that hot wire that I ran when we found the ignition earlier. The blue goes to the fans, but as you see, the as you can see, you have to have like also the spade connectors for this too. I wish they would have gave me like a the plug that just goes right into this one, but I think I'm just gonna have to go get some uh, spade connectors and then connect it to this and then tap it in there. And I probably I think I'm almost sure this is a ground wire and uh, um, the blue is for the power to the fans and then the red wire which has an inline fuse right here coming from the relay goes up and i got it extended right here to all the way to the battery over there hold on let's make sure y'all see i just got it i got a tool box or tool bag sitting on it so i don't fall over but this is the wire i just got it sitting up there i'm gonna clean up all these connections i don't want y'all to think that like this is the end of everything i just want to test it before i finalize everything because i'm going to get a connector that goes for this on the battery um i'm gonna ground the wire i mean ground the fans out also to the same ground right here i'm gonna loom all this up uh and probably sit it right here on this lip of the radiator 
and then run it to the battery like that. Um, or I can ground it right there. I just seen there's another ground. Uh, I could ground the fan out right there. Um, but yeah, I have to go find some spade connectors because I at least got to like plug up the fan to even see if they'll turn on. All right, guys, so I ended up getting the spade connectors. Um, I only really need like, all in all, I need about six. Because I'm going to need two for that fan, two for this fan, and one for the thermostat, which I'm about to crimp down right now. Uh, yeah. I'll probably do that. And then, I got like I said, I got to run in the house and get like a lighter or like a torch or something to heat up this thermostat. And see if it's running, man. See if the fans actually work. If not, I gotta retrace my steps. But y'all keep rocking with me, man. I'm about to knock this out. All right, guys. I'm about to retrace my steps. Just make sure I got everything straight. I got the test lighter or whatever to test the thermostat. So I got the thermostat coming from the relay, ground it, and it's going. Essentially, it's going to be right here. I'm gonna take that one out and put it in there. I'm gonna sit that right there. This is my ignition key. So when I turn the key on, it gets power to the relay or whatever. The fuse, I need to turn the fuse in, but that goes to the battery. And then I got the fans hooked up. Yeah, I'm going to see. Uh, just a second. Alright guys. I, mean, I double checked everything. I just inserted the fuse into the fuse box. Uh, you can't see it. I'm sorry, but... I'm about to go in the car, turn the ignition key on, and then I'm going to start lighting up that thermostat. Let me sit that right here. We already on. Dang. But I don't think they're supposed to be on. The thermostat is not heated up. All right, so I gotta go back and figure out what's going on here. Okay, so basically right now it seems like it's like What is not registering right now? So it turned on when I had the key on, which is still, I mean, it's good, but I don't want my fan running the whole time. Uh, it's got power. The power's getting to the fans. Uh, I feel like it has to do something with this thermostat. All right, guys, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna tell you why. I had the switch. I don't know if y'all can see it in the bottom corner of the thing. This right here. I thought this like was supposed to be grounded. So I had put it on the ground. So I was already grounding the thermostat out. I was doing the thermostat job already. So I took that off and now the fans aren't working. But they're not supposed to be on because the thermostat ain't heated up. But I'm about to turn the ignition coil alone and then I'm gonna heat this up with this lighter to see if it works. Ignition's on, the fan's supposed to have power. Let's see. Dang, I done ran out of lighter fluid. I'm stomped. I'm not even gonna lie. I want to kind of just like put it the thermostat in the block and then just see like if I let the car run for like five ten minutes, uh, see if that'll let me know. Because all right, so when I had that, I had that little this joint right here grounded. That was grounding out the the thing for the relay off top. So that's why the fans was coming on immediately when I had uh, turned the switch. They're not supposed to do that. This is supposed to be. The secondary switch to determine when the fans turn on. The ignition just get power to the uh, to the fans. I mean, I guess power to the relay. And then when this grounds out, it tells the relay to tell the fans to turn on. But I don't know why it's not grounding out. I just held that candle on this joint for like uh, 
good little minute. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, why won't this thermostat ground out? Does it? I wonder, does it need to be in, like, the block? Like that one? Do I need to just take that one out and then just put it in there to see? But what if I do that and, like, I don't find out if this thermostat works or not? That's the key right now. I feel like I need to see. I just wanted to see if it would work on its own without having to put it in the block right now because I want to finish out and, you know, clean up these wires, you know what I'm saying? I got to make it look a little bit better than what it looked like. But before I do that, I want to make sure this thermostat works. Y'all get in the comment section. I'm pretty sure by the time this video up, I'll have this figured out. But if not, hopefully somebody else knows what to do, like to do, or I can figure it out and help somebody else in the future. But I think... I want to just take this one out. I'm not even going to lie to you. I just want to take it out. And then just put this one in there. Hmm. I don't know. What y'all think? All right, YouTube. So let's then come down to this. I'm in here boiling water to, I guess, simulate my coolant in my engine. And I'm going to drop the thermostat in there. Just to, Not the whole thermostat. Just to drop it in there to see if it'll kick the fans on. Right now, it looks like it's at like 120. I'm gonna let it get up to like 220 and then I'm gonna go run out there right quick. See what happens. All right, guys, we at like two, two, almost 210. I'm gonna let it get up to like 220 and I'm gonna go just sprint outside and hurry up and um, dump the thermostat in there to see what happens. All right, guys, we're about to test to see if this thermostat really works or if it doesn't work. Um, So, I, I like you said, I just seen, you seen the water boiling it just got to 220 degrees um yeah i'm gonna let the thermostat stay in there so i can read the temperature and then um i'm gonna put the the actual temperature temperature sensor in there and i want to see if it actually first things first i want to see if it's gonna turn on and then the second thing i want to see if it the fans kick off after it gets below 175. so right now I'm about to turn my ignition key on and I'm gonna sprint in the house and get the, uh, the like boiling hot water and we're gonna see if it works. Right. Here goes nothing. I don't think it's working. This sensor, this temperature sensor does not work. It can't work because this water is at 205 degrees right now. Yeah, this is supposed to be turning on. But if I ground it, it turns on. Okay, so we just found out the issue. It is this temperature sensor. No other reason. Cause this is at 220 degrees of water and this mess is not turning on. That's pretty hot, like that's hot. Hmm. I wonder where I can get one of these sensors from. Cause the relay works because when I ground it out, the fans turn on like when I manually ground it out. But now the whole sensor is in the water, which is still at, right now it's at 190 degrees. The fans should still be on. Yeah. Like I said, if I ground it with my hand, which I'm about to do right now, they turn on. I take my hand off. They turn off. But this is what the, that's what the thermostat's supposed to be doing. 